Hey guys! Today is the long-awaited Battle of the Fine Liners where I compare and review all of the fine felt-tipped pens that I use. Um, as you guys know, I love fine liners and I know most of you are big fans as well. So let's just get into it. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, then you definitely know that these are the Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners. I've had them for a while and I use them pretty frequently. So something that's really like original about these is that they have triangular shaped bodies. So they are very, very comfortable to hold and they also won't like roll around on your desk or anything. Um, the tip is 0.3 millimeters and although it's a really thin tip, um, these don't flatten out as much as you would think. Um, I've had this pack of 20 since April of 2015 and they've all held up really well except for like one or two of them have started to like run out of ink but the rest of them still work are amazing they last such a long time and I appreciate that so I would definitely buy these again I use these for note taking and mind mapping and occasionally in my bullet journal and I think the ink quality is really awesome and um, since these are essentially markers they definitely will ghost through paper to the other side um, but there is very minimal bleeding through and that's something I appreciate because a lot of fine liners will definitely bleed through paper so that's something to keep in mind but these are really awesome. So these next fine liners are the Papermate Flare pens and the point size is medium. These are very, very popular because they are readily available. You can find these at Target or Walmart or Staples. And so I really like that these are more budget friendly than some other um, overly priced um, felt tip pens. These I have been exposed to for a long time. I got my first pack maybe when I was like 11 or 12 and so I have had a lot of experience with these pens. I can tell you that if you buy a pack at the beginning of the school year, towards the end of the school year, it will still, like they will all still work and the ink will not run out. So they do last a long time. However, the tips will flatten a lot especially if you put a lot of pressure on paper while you write and um, as they flatten more the pen will ghost through the paper more and occasionally will bleed with like the darker colors um, I find them pretty comfortable and I use them for like rough note taking because like the nib size is pretty large compared to some of the other fine tipped pens that I have um, and I I do like these I would definitely buy them again just because they do last such a long time and are pretty great because of that so next are these twin tip hexagonal marker pens from Muji and I think these are actually really cool they have a fat like traditional marker tip on one end and on the other end of the writing utensil there is a fine liner tip so I like the duality of this product um, and unfortunately I don't think it's super comfortable to hold for a long time for similar reasons as the Stabilo ones um, and the uh, tip on the marker side is very very thick and because it's so thick it will definitely go through paper will most likely bleed through as well the fine tip also has a couple of problems with bleeding but um, I don't know I use these pretty sparsely and I don't use them heavily so I don't know exactly how long these would last but um, I'm not sure if I would buy these again, mostly because I just ended up not using them as nearly as much as I thought I would. Um, but I think the ink quality is really good and I think that these are worth checking out if you're interested in the double-ended feature of these. All right, so next are the Stabilo .88 fine liners. They are in the size 0.4 fine, and I have the mini versions, which are super convenient and are super, super cute. 
A lot of people claim that these are the best pens ever and they swear by them, they use them all the time. So like, that's awesome. If it works for you, go for it. Um, for me personally, I've been kind of disappointed. Uh, the study community online like hypes these a lot. And so I got a pack to start my bullet journal last year and um, they all still work. So that means that they do last a long time. However, if you like write on an angle and you don't write straight up and down, the tips will flatten in that direction that you write in. So if you go back and try to use it again, sometimes that portion of the marker would have been flattened and sometimes you don't have a very even line coming out of the pen because of that. I hope that made sense, but um, I don't think I would buy these again um, And I also feel like they aren't super comfortable for me to hold they are um, hexagonal shaped um, I, I don't know. I, I think that I had higher expectations and these just didn't really meet the mark for me um, And I I don't know I, I want to like these because I just have a big obsession with stationery, but I think that there are definitely markers or fine liners that perform better than these do. Next I have these miscellaneous fine liner pens. First I have this Copic Multi Liner. It's the 0.3 size. Um, and honestly, like I only have this one because I got it in a set of several other items, but this Copic Multiliner is kind of a disappointment. Copic has an awesome name in like art products and um, like drawing products and stuff, so I thought this was going to be awesome. However, it kind of disappointed me because I hardly ever use it, but when I do, it skips a lot. There isn't really a lot of consistency with ink flow and it flattens very, very easily. So at least for me, like this did not work at all. But I also have these Pigma Micron pens. These are from Sakura and hands down, like these have the best ink quality out of any of the fine liner pens that I am talking about today. They are, um, they all have like waterproof ink and they also claim to be fade proof as well. So over time, like your notes will not fade out um, and lose its like color saturation and things like that. And I think that's really important, especially if you want to keep your notes for a long time. And I have a pack of three black ones, um, the 01 size, 03 size, and 05 size. And I love that it comes in so many different sizes. Like for example, this 01 size is actually equivalent to 0.25 millimeters. And that's really, really thin, guys. So I love that you can kind of get a lot out of depending on whether or not you want a wide or a thin tip. But, um, Regardless, the ink is awesome on here on here and I really really want to try the colored versions of these just because like these black ones have been so great. Um, they don't last that long though because especially if you use them a lot like the ink will run out pretty quickly but I think that's kind of a trade-off for all of its other great traits. I'm constantly asked what pens bleed through paper and how much, and so I thought I would just rank these for you guys. So on the far left are the ones that bleed through or ghost through paper the most, and on the far right are the pens that bleed through or ghost through the least. And so as you can see, the ones that ghost through the most are the uh, Papermate flare pens and the ones that ghost through the least are the Pigma Micron pens. So that's just something to take into consideration if you're thinking about buying any of these fine liners. So next, I just wanted to wrap up by ranking these fine liners from my least to most favorite. So all the way on the left, I have my Stabilo .88 fine liners. Those unfortunately are my least favorite out of the bunch, um, just because they don't uh, perform as well as I expected them to. And next are the Muji Twin Tip uh, pens. Those are just because I don't find them very practical for what I use them for. Next in the middle are the Papermate Flare pens. Great deal, they do bleed through a lot. Um, and then next are the Pigma Micron pens, all around great quality ink and I would definitely repurchase them. And next, my absolute favorite, and this should come as no surprise to anyone, are the Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners. If you ever want to splurge just a little bit and treat yourself, it's really worth 
checking out these and getting a pack. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I will be posting videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And also be sure to check out my 8tracks, Instagram, and Tumblr accounts. Bye guys!